Hi everyone, I am here with another wellness tip for you and this time it's in regards to mindful eating. Um, this is something that I actually work with all my clients on because I feel like it is the first step that we can do to sort of re-engage that conversation between our mind and our body. So I think it is super critical for us to really slow down and really be present at meal times. Um, so two things that you can do to really help with that practice that have impact throughout your entire body, and I'll explain that a little bit further. So number one is chew your food properly. Really take the time to savor, to chew each bite sufficiently so that you can properly digest the food. Um, your saliva, the actual act of chewing, all of that, all of those mechanics actually help break down the food, allow your body to properly absorb. That's what starts that nutrient absorption process. So chewing is critical. Two would be to refrain from any liquids, even water, when you're eating. And the reason for that is our bodies are a perfect system and we just need to um, be reminded of that and so um, there is acid in our stomachs naturally and that acid is used to help further break down our food and allow for proper nutrient absorption so as you can imagine if you're introducing any liquid even water that disrupts the acid level the pH level and while that may seem like a whole lot of information it's important for you to understand that your body is a perfect system and everything about us you know operates in such a way to our benefit so if we could just allow nature to take its take its course um, and really set ourselves up for success um, really just chewing your food properly and avoiding liquids when you're eating will allow you to have better digestion better elimination uh, you'll be able to actually reap the benefits of all the nutritious food that you work so hard to not only purchase but also to source because I know and depending on where you live it could be difficult to have access to really high quality food so if you're making the effort to purchase those ingredients you should really allow your body to absorb its at its full capacity and these two things will help you do that so i encourage you all to put these into practice and if you find this to be of use or helpful to you please feel free to share it with a friend um, the whole purpose of this channel is for you. Um, I am creating all of this content to help inform you, to empower you, to really um, bring awareness to a lot of information that just isn't common knowledge. We didn't go to school with this knowledge. We somehow, some way, <laughs> I think culturally, we just haven't, um, we've lost that connection. So um, it is my mission to remind you that how important it is for us to have mind-body connection because really our bodies inform us every day. Every time we are feeling anything, it's our body's way of communicating with us. And I think we've just lost touch with that. So if we all just tune in, I think that there will be so much more feedback that you'll get that it will help really shape and reposition sort of your lifestyle choices, eating choices, even certain ingredients, whether they serve you or don't serve you. But once you start really like paying attention to how food can impact your life, um, that's a game changer. So uh, with that, I will leave you. Um, I look forward to many more topics that you may have. And if you found this to be helpful, please share it because this is what social media is great for. It's for sharing um, all of this wonderful knowledge and spreading awareness because uh, it's all for the greater good. So I will leave you for now. Uh, take care and I hope you found this helpful. Bye-bye.